Tonight, two separate chain reaction crashes on Sunday in very snowy weather involved 90 vehicles. Now, many of those drivers stuck in the backup for hours. Please explain why it can take so long to clear those crashes and what you should and should not do if you find yourself in one. RTV6 is live downtown to explain. And the traffic on the south split tonight moving just fine, but if there's a burst of snow, one of these crashes can lead to a chain reaction accident. Tonight, what goes into trying to get those people out of a chain reaction accident, to get those cars removed, why it takes so long, and what you need to do to protect yourself if you're involved in one. A burst of snow slickened I-65 north near Lebanon, resulting in a chain reaction 40-vehicle crash. Less than an hour later, 50 vehicles involved in another crash on I-70 West in Putnam County, where drivers sat in the resulting backup for up to seven hours. Mike Kapadich was driving to St. Louis. A couple hours, I get it. You know, I understand, unfortunately, these type of things happen. But it's going on seven hours, and no one has said a word to us. Newsflash, it's 15 degrees outside. People are running out of gas. State police hear those complaints and chain reaction accidents and say their first priority is tending to the injured, and several people were treated for broken bones and cuts in both crashes. And in Putnam County, many of the wrecked vehicles were near a bridge, hampering tow trucks getting through. And in most crashes, if we're going to be there a long period of time, and we had the availability, the manpower, to clear that queue, the backup, we're going to start backing traffic up if there's an exit that's close, if there's a crossover that's close, to try and get that removed also. Police also have have to dispatch wreckers to remove damaged vehicles and then have INDOT treat the road to prevent other crashes, and that can take hours. Bursts of bad weather that frighten even professional drivers. For ice, snow, just freak weather like this, you know? Yeah, because we're pulling like 80,000 pounds. It's, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, it takes us a lot longer to, to stop. Yeah. Police also say that Sunday's accidents are a reminder to keep emergency supplies in your car. If we're in the company truck, uh, they got, usually got a few things, but if it's my wife and I, we got extra coats, blankets, water. Scary chain reaction crashes that happen instantly and can strand drivers for hours. And state police say to never get out of your car if you're involved in one of these accidents because you can't see what's coming up behind you. They also say that your smartphone can be very valuable because yesterday state police were tweeting out information to drivers on alternate routes and exits they could use to try and get out of this crash. Also, the RTV6 app, very valuable because we also provide that information if you're ever involved in one of these. Reporting live downtown, Chris Profit, RTV6.